thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about adjudication before and during trial. That means that you can pause and stop the litigation. Get ready, here we go. Today, I'm gonna break it up into pause and stop. Those aren't really the legal terms, but in my mind, I interpret it a little bit better as something where you can stop the litigation, like end it, or you can pause it and be like, wait a minute, let's take a breather, let's not move on from here. So I'm gonna refer to these as pause and stop. First, I'm gonna tackle pause, and then I'm gonna move on to stop. Pause has two different subsects i guess you could say we have the preliminary injunction and then a subset of the preliminary injunction which is the tro which is commonly known as the temporary restraining order which word on the street is the restraining order so preliminary means first or before and then injunction is a legal word that's used an order to stop someone from doing something in more casual vernacular. It's basically the court is saying you, the person named on this injunction, cannot do something, cannot act a certain way, cannot say a certain something, and it's used to prevent misrepresentation, um, abuse, painting of evidence, things like that. There's an array of reasons why you would want to issue a preliminary injunction. So what are the elements that you need in order to get your, in order to convince the judge to grant your preliminary injunction and give you that type of protection? There are a few of those elements. The first one is that you need to identify irreparable harm. What will happen if this injunction is not issued? What harm will you suffer? Then you need to notify the other party that you are going to file this uh, injunction, that you are seeking this injunction. There needs to be a hearing. You need to afford the other party whose injunction it's going to be who they're going to apply the injunction to the opportunity to respond and be like, wait, 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 no, 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 no. This is wrong. I should not have this injunction put against me because X, Y, Z. And then finally the, yeah. It, <laughs> Finally, the whole decision is appealable. So if the judge says, yes, I'm going to enter this injunction against your abusive ex-boyfriend, then the ex-boyfriend can be like, no, I'm going to appeal this because I think you're wrong because. And then it could go before the judge again and a different outcome can happen. Okay, that's a preliminary injunction. There's a subsect of preliminary injunction, which is the temporary restraining order. It's easy to understand it this way. All temporary restraining orders can be preliminary injunctions, but not all prelimi but preliminary injunctions are not temporary restraining order. One becomes the other. So temporary restraining order can become a preliminary injunction, but a preliminary injunction cannot become a temporary restraining order. So what is a temporary restraining order? Let's break off the phrase. Temporary means not permanent for a specific, for a specified amount of time. And then a restraining order is it restrains someone from doing something or saying something. So it's like a preliminary injunction. It has different elements. So I mentioned that a preliminary injunction, you have to identify irreparable harm. For a temporary restraining order, you have to identify irreparable harm irreparable harm but that it is immediate meaning that you are in danger of something immediately you have to try to notify the party but a notice requirement is not necessary if you are in danger 
you have to let the court know and that you tried to reach out but like no one answered so you know what you satisfied that a hearing is not needed and temporary restraining orders are not appealable what does that mean if you are in disagreement, you cannot be like wait a minute no that's wrong so temporary restraining orders how long do they last 14 days can they be renewed yes they can for another 14 days now once it reaches the 28th day and nothing has happened the temporary restraining order becomes a preliminary injunction so i said that temporary restraining orders are not appealable yes but once the 28 days pass and the temporary restraining order changes from tro to a preliminary injunction then it is appealable why because preliminary injunctions are appealable so that goes back to what i said that a temporary restraining order can become a preliminary injunction but a preliminary injunction cannot become a temporary restraining order you can't go back a temporary restraining order happens before a preliminary injunction it's it's an an added level of protection that says i'm going to experience harm and i need this person to stay away from me most oftentimes people associate restraining orders with abusive relationships so if i had an abusive boyfriend and i was fearing for my life and my safety i would get a restraining order that would say that this man cannot get near me within two miles two mile radius and i would be safe for the time being so why is this a pause why are temporary restraining orders and preliminary injunctions considered a pause because it does not end the litigation it does not end the trial it does not start from the beginning there's no restart it just pauses everything it says wait let's take a second we need to resolve some things we need to make sure all the parties are safe we need to make sure everything's on the same page so we just need to on the remote press pause before we keep going because there are a few things that need to be addressed so while this conversation is about pause we are going to keep going stop in the name of love well we're just gonna stop in the court of law <laughs> super cheesy anyways there are three ways that you can stop a trial well a case from going to trial three ways we're gonna talk about today three so it could be vd dj or sj <laughs> so the first one is is voluntary dismissal that is when the plaintiff decides you know what i don't want this to go to trial anymore i'm just tired of it i don't want to litigate so the plaintiff removes it and if it's gotten a little bit far the judge may decide you know what okay we'll dismiss it but with prejudice what does that mean it just means that you cannot refile again because you're being stopped if the judge dismisses without prejudice that means that you can refile again but that does not mean that you can just refile 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 you have like one freebie giveaway that if you refile um, if you dismiss and then a month later you're like JK I want to file this I want to litigate this so you can file for it again and the judge will keep it going but then if you try to dismiss again voluntary dismissal the judge will be like mm, I'll dismiss but with prejudice as is in a way of punishing you so the voluntary dismissal only belongs to the plaintiff the person who brings the suit dj stands for default motion this one is the defendant's fault if the defendant decides to not answer the plaintiff's summons or complaints or anything the, the defendant just goes awol it's just like either never receives it or just chooses not to answer it then the judge can dismiss the case and whether or not the judge decides to it could be like you know what we're gonna issue this against the defendant or like the defendant answered at the beginning and then just like ghosted the case 
then the, the defendant can be punished and can be the judgment can be entered against the defendant. But if the defendant does not appear, uh, that is not likely the case. So the next one is summary judgment. And this is a phrase that's often thrown around a lot. And it happens before the case goes to trial, like the other ones. Uh, voluntary dismissal and default judgment. Summary judgment is when there is no genuine issue of material fact and the party is entitled to judgment as a matter of law. Okay, no genuine issue of material fact. Is there a case? Is there something worth litigating? Is there a genuine issue? Okay, we can understand that that part. Okay, the next one is the party that's asking for the for the the end, for the stop, are they entitled to judgment as a matter of law? So you're like, okay, but what is judgment as a matter of law? That means that if during trial the party would be able to dismiss the case because the other party does not have sufficient evidence to litigate the case. So suppose we are in a grocery store and there's a slip and fall, but the cameras are faulty, so it didn't capture it. There were no eyewitnesses and the person is claiming that he fell and broke his leg because of this slip and fall. There's not enough evidence that can be able to prove that that happened. How, well, who's to say that that man didn't see the spill and was like, you know what, I'm just gonna fall right here so that I can get <laughs> some relief. So we could say that he wouldn't be able to litigate the case correctly and maybe you could be granted judgment as a matter of law. Well, guess what? If that's the case, we can get summary judgment. We're just gonna stop this before it continues any further because there's, there's, no reason to why are we going to bring about something that isn't going to bring about anything <laughs> so a little rewind stops three voluntary dismissal plaintiff is like i don't want to do it anymore i don't feel like it judge is like okay we're gonna stop it right here then we have default judgment the defendant is kind of flaky, is ghosting the court, and the court's like, the judge is like, okay, I don't have time for your red flags. I'm going to stop it right here. And then summary judgment, it's just rambling, 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 and nothing is really being said. A lot of things are being heard, but not said, and then the judge is like, you know what, I'm just gonna stop you right there because I don't have time for your for your blabber. You just need to tell me something or we're not gonna go anywhere. So, <laughs> those are your stops and your pauses. <laughs> Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and tune in. I have new videos every Wednesday tackling this beast of the bar exam. Good luck studying, you got this.